We are now in phase three of the Scottish Government's route map, through and out of the COVID-19 crisis. This means the virus has been suppressed for now, but it continues to be infectious. There could be sudden outbreaks of the virus in communities. These are being monitored by the UK and the devolved governments in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. If an outbreak happens in a community or area, the governments may have to impose another lockdown there. So what are the things that can happen now in Scotland that couldn't before because of the lockdown rules? You're now able to travel beyond your local area. Public transport will be back to full service, but numbers will be significantly limited to allow for physical distancing and masks will have to be worn. Travelling at peak times is discouraged. Meetings that involve travelling to young people's home communities, including home visits and transition visits, family time and keeping in touch time will resume, in line with public health guidance. Support from the Good Shepherd Centre to young people who are moving on will resume. You'll be able to meet people from more than one household indoors with physical distancing and hygiene measures in place. Young people will be encouraged and supported to spend time in the local area and community where this is legally allowable and in line with their care plan. They will be supported to engage with local community activities and groups. Sport, culture and leisure activities will open subject to physical distancing and hygiene measures. The Good Shepherd Centre's sports pitch, games hall and outdoor spaces will be used for PE and events as long as physical distancing and infection control measures are stringently observed. Live events will be permitted but with restricted numbers and physical distance restrictions. Meaning that events such as Gene the Park will take place. Face-to-face -face meetings and hearings will resume. Nearly all young people's meetings, including young people's planning meetings, reviews and hearings, will be physically held at the centre. It is anticipated that some contact will continue to take place remotely by video link, phone, text and email. Home-based and community-based social work and care services and agency offices will reopen. The Good Shepherd will work with young people, their families, local authorities and public health colleagues to ensure that all face-to-face -face visits and meetings on campus are safely supported so that relatives and professional helpers can spend time with young people, with continuing physical distancing measures in place. School will do everything possible to resume a full school day whilst maintaining smaller classes. Possibility of removing cohort teaching to allow pupils access to a fuller timetable. Class sizes will remain reduced to three to ensure physical distancing is adhered to. Desks and computers will continue to be spaced out appropriately. School staff will continue to ensure stringent infection control measures are in place. Collegiate sessions will continue using remote resources, technology and making the best use of larger spaces, including Cora Hall and the Gym Hall. Those who are enrolled in college or alternative provisions can now re-engage through a blended model of learning involving remote access. Outdoor learning opportunities will continue to be provided on campus for all pupils, allowing the Duke of Edinburgh and John Muir Awards to progress. Where possible, outdoor activities can take place more frequently and in alternative locations at a further distance from the centre, off-peak travel only. There are further opportunities and possibilities for two classes or houses to be in the same space, including indoor spaces like the sports pitch and the games hall, whilst observing physical distancing and infection control measures. People can meet in extended groups subject to physical distancing, like places of worship. Restrictions to attend funerals, marriages and civil partnerships beyond close family has been relaxed. Physical distancing measures will continue throughout the centre in line with evolving guidance, from the management of the reception area to the restrictions on how people move from one part of the campus to another, to continue to live within the care houses and cottages, such as shared spaces, for example, games room, dining room and living rooms. It's important to still use effective hand hygiene, cough and sneeze hygiene. 
Surface cleaning and disinfectant will continue. Deep cleaning will be completed as required. Stay safe.